All right, hi guys, happy Saturday, or well, it's Saturday for me. So, um, my name is Keegan, I'm 15 years old, 16 years old, and um, I resell clothing and shoes and sometimes bags and accessories on Poshmark and eBay. So I was able to save up enough money to buy a car and I'm saving up for college and then just to buy things for myself. So today's one of my favorite days of the year. A uh, local consignment store had a bag sale for their clear summer clearance items. And I try to go, this is my second time going. So I can't wait till next year for their winter one. I will say, um, last sale I did a lot better at. Um, they had a lot more stuff, and like ten winter stuff tends to high, sell for higher. I did get some great stuff, so I'll just show you that. I'm going to start off with the stuff that my mom got for herself, because she came with me, and it's always helpful to have more than one person. So these are American Eagle, and she actually, so her job was to just go to the jeans. Um, the bags, I didn't see any that like caught my eye, so I didn't go to them. I just went to shoes, but these are striped. American Eagle jeans. So these are for Plato's Closet. They're the mom jean. I would sell them if they're like a size 12 or something, but they are a size zero. So yeah, but they were $19 originally at the store, but yeah. I paid 40 for all of this and I have like a huge like bucket. I'm like in my light box. This is where I film. Anyways, um, okay, then she got these. I'm just gonna like toss them over here. Uh, these are like just like these white, the brand is called Venice Blue, I've never heard of it, probably like a boutique brand. These were $13 originally, and they're just like a lace crochet style wide leg pants. Probably, probably too big for her, so we'll just like either like donate those or like, yeah. Um, this I guess I could sell if she don't like it. This is Leith, which is sold at Nordstrom, and it's like this tank ruche dress. I don't really see her wearing this, to be honest, so I might just sell that. This was $25. Uh, these I might take the clothes mentor if she doesn't like them. They're loft. Uh, $16, just live sale shorts. And I think these are from, like, a recent year, I believe, if I remember. So, like, they're in, like, excellent condition. They still have, like, this tag that says remove before wearing or washing. And they're from summer of 21 so like not a year old um this is Alea, which is not brand new pickup but she likes these style sweater there's like a pull in the front but she can just wear as is or pull it through if she wants but open knit sweater sisters but they're like so they are new with tag loft size so extra extra small which yeah but they were 17 and they retail for 70 dollars but they have like sales and stuff so yeah but these are just like i thought they were gonna be eileen fisher but they were not so yep i probably wouldn't list those myself or pick them up um it was 20 dollars a bag and i got two bags so my mom grabbed these for herself because she thought she might like them because she was supposed to go to the jeans first but these are J. Crew 6, size 6, 100% cotton. And she ended up liking them. They're like a high rise. They are high rise. So high rise. Kind of like a kick flare, straight leg. So I would have picked these up. I'm going to list these probably like 35. So probably would have picked them up at the thrift store. But I like selling kick flare jeans. Oh, guys, if you could see this right now. No, don't lay down. Don't lay down. Do stop. Stop. Don't lay down. Okay. Okay. So he laid down. So I'm just gonna have to work around him. So sorry about that. All right. I'm probably gonna have picked these up at the thrift either. But they are Abercrombie. And my mom didn't get these ones. I found them on the rack. Um, nobody else grabbed them either. But they're like a tie waisted, high rise, skinny raw hem jeans so these are size 26 or 2 and they hit these priced at $26 which is like go off I guess um okay this what is oh this is for my mom I'm trying to get her stuff out of the way because it's less exciting it's called Grace Lace and it's like a peplum like tiered blouse t-shirt 
And these are for my sister. This is JBD, so not a brand I pick up, but just cut off shorts. They had these priced at, well, the tag fell out, so. Grace Lace, I think, was like 16 or so, 12 maybe. Um, okay, this is, I put this in at the end because, I mean, it was either one of those things I get it, it's like basically free, either I get it or don't, so I just got it because, like, why not? I never checked out this brand, but Heather from the Canary Closet said it's expensive and she sends it to thread up, so I thought I might do that. So it's Nick and Zoe, or Nick and Zoe. This was 14, and it's like this almost like asymmetrical tank. Like, so I was like, okay, I'll try it. Yeah. I'll try it. These are for my mom's. She doesn't like the color, but she said they were very comfortable. The brand is Spenso, Spenso, and yeah, so she said that these were 20, like, look at that, if you can see, these were 20, 29 dollars, okay, I'm trying to, like, block it out so you guys can see, but, like, yeah, it's a, which is really expensive for flip-flops, so they probably are a good brand, I haven't really looked them up, um, I'm trying to show you her stuff first before we get into mine, but she, okay, actually, I think we're going into mine now. I try to start off with shoes, so our channel favorite here, or channel favorite, um, redhead lady was there, but she wasn't that bad this time, and so was my me neighbor, if you watched my clothes mentor video, but, like, she actually wasn't that bad. She, redhead lady was first in line, and, like, the, um, there was a pair of Chacos, which, honestly, Chacos do not sell for me that well anymore. Like, I'm just being really honest, so she got those first, and I didn't really care because I was like okay it wasn't like the Zach Posen incident or the bag where that lady got it first last time but yeah so right next to the Chacos were these and she was reaching for them and I grabbed them so I was like sorry but you can't have both but these are Uggs and they're like an excellent condition just like a leather sandal like these were probably like worn like once if not like ever so yeah, I'm not sure what size these are size 8 so I was right back there and then uh, oh, actually, on my way, so they had, like, a random, just, like, a random rack of shoes right before the jeans, and my mom was like, well, do you want me to grab anything there, because it's in the, I have to run that way to go to the jeans anyway, and I was like, just grab these Teo sandals while you're at it, so she got these, these were, these were, they priced this at $46, so, like, dang, okay, uh, I didn't realize they priced them that high. These are like a leather sandal. This brand is okay, so probably I'll start these at 50. Um, the Uggs Ugg, at like 35 to 40, probably 40. And I got these dance coats on this. There was like three tables of shoes and I got these two at one, the dan or the Teos my mom got on a different one, but these are dance go. And I've sold this style before, just this upper was a different color, but um, yeah, they're called, I can't remember, but they still like pretty well. So they had these priced at, well, kind of ripped off actually, but they had these priced at 46. I don't think I can get that. I'll probably list them at 50 to 45, 40, and eh, probably 45. So yeah, uh, my mom got these for herself. This is, a, I forgot to show you guys these ones. So sorry. These are called Kana, K-A-N-N-A. -N -N they're like a leather upper. Oh, this leather feels really nice, actually. Size six and a half espadrille wedge. So, yeah, she got those. Um, she found this coach wallet at the end for me. Somebody must have put it back, but it's like a, just like a, yeah. Um, this was priced at 27. I'll probably set at 30 to 35. Uh, what else? Oh, okay, so I went to the shoes and I went to the dresses, I believe. Um... It's so the first thing I found, besides the shoes. Oh, I actually grabbed these because I didn't, I couldn't remember the brand. Wait, oh, sorry, I'm not done with the shoes. I kind of, I honestly don't remember what I got. So like, I don't get like any like high, high dollar items, just like a whole bunch of like bread and butter. So these are Jack Rogers sandals, which I don't pick up anything besides their sandals anymore. Um, Cause they don't do the best for me, but like I know other people like to sell it, but these are like, first of all, brand new. I would have picked these up at a thrift store, but, um, probably would have paid like six eight dollars for them i think this is their newer label as well and they had these priced at 40 uh eight and a half leather upper and yeah so like i was excited about these and on the same table as the jack rogers were these l space by 
Coco Bell, Bella, um, size six and a half, like, like, like tassel, like flip flops. So they have like the toe thing, loop, and then they have like this thing, and then they have like the tassel, and then, yeah, so like these are really lightweight, but they price these at 25. And I looked up comps, I thought I remember hearing something about it, and they're like, some of them are $40, so just because of the season, I'm gonna list them at 35, but like, not bad. Um, oh, and then I found these like right at the end. I don't normally pick up this brand, there was some of it there, I just left it behind. But these are Matilda Jane, which I've never seen their shoes before, but um, these are like a printed sandal. I don't, they're all man-made materials, so. Uh, these, they have them priced at 17, they're size 10, but it came in like a little, like, travel bag, so. I thought it'd be 25. Let's see, okay. This, uh, I might either reconsign or just, uh, buy, sell, trade it. They have this price at 33. It's low, size medium. And it's, I'll probably list this one actually. It's like this tank dress, midi dress. And it has like this waist tie and then like a slit at the hem. So that was nice. This I got at the end too, just because I could, I wouldn't have picked this out at a thrift store or if it was pre-owned, but it was Banana Republic size so double zero or just zero. And it was $37, new tag. Um, and this is a polyester, uh, like, how do you, how do you go? Oh, this is a polyester jumpsuit. So I thought that was nice and it has like the waist high. So I'll probably reconsign that or probably not consign because I don't think it'll sell. Um, and basically when I consign stuff and it doesn't sell, that's like, if I don't think it's going to sell out of consent store, I won't bring it there. I'll just buy, sell, trade it. So a lot of my flawed, it flawed items, I don't take to consignment stores because they probably won't sell. You never know. But um, unless the buy, sell, trade store doesn't take it, then I'll just like get it. This one was at the end too. So I wouldn't have looked it up, but I saw it's Wayward Francis for E Shakti. It says extra small Z or zero. And it's like this black, like dress. I really like this bottom portion. I really like the pattern. Um, so, yeah, I thought that was nice. I just don't really like the top that much, in my opinion, but, like, it's fine. Uh, the size double zero is, or just zero is not that, uh, great either, but they have this priced at $40. So, I know East Shakti is a good bread and butter brand, um, so I thought I'd try that, and might as well. This, I also grabbed at the end, too. Uh, it is just J Crew size extra small. Jeez, okay, but it's this pop over like linen sheath mini dress. So I thought like for, for vacations and stuff, this would be really nice. It's definitely like linen for sure. Yeah, ninety five, ninety fifty nine percent linen, forty one percent cotton, and it says like the wash before you wearing tag. So like, this is from. Summer 14, so like, oh, I didn't realize it was that old, but like, I think this is a timeless style. Um, I didn't really look over condition that much, so, yeah, I mean, I did, but I didn't. This, oh, okay, I, I must have missed this, and then I found out at the end. So this is Torrid, which I don't pick up, usually, size 3, but this was originally 18, new tag. Retailed for forty five fifty, probably went on sale because that's sticker residue. But like, um, so three X, it's like this sheer or not sheer like polyester, like ruffly like blouse. So I thought I could get like twenty five, hopefully. So yeah, I was happy about this. So this I was okay. I like selling this brand, and it was priced at seventeen. So it's Savannah Jane, but like. It has like a chief but if you guys can see that like i saw this and i wasn't sure if it was like a stain because it's you can clearly see it right it's like right like here all like all down there but like i couldn't tell if it was part of it or not i don't think it's part of it but it's also like a t-shirt so like i guess i could try washing and if it doesn't come out i don't know 
it doesn't like necessarily look bad. Somebody put this back and I was like, oh, actually my neighbor, the mean one, like, I, so they had bins for hangers for you. So like, cause everything was on hangers and you could like, um, put everything in bins. Like you put your hangers in like a, I don't, I don't like a tote bin like this. I have everything in and then, um, I just transferred the bag, the paper bags were ripping. So I put them in the tote bin, but, um, when I got home, but, um, you put your hangers in, and she just, like, put her put-back stuff, like, everybody was putting their put-back stuff, like, on the racks, and she, like, just put through it in the bin, and I was, like, like, that's not what you're supposed to do, but, like, okay, but she put this back, and I was, like, fine, I'll take this then, um, this is a Prana size medium, uh, just printed athletic dress, these actually do pretty well for me, so I was, like, okay, actually, actually, I think I skipped this the first time, because I wasn't, like, a huge fan of the pattern, but, like, when she, like, put it back, it almost, like, made me want to get it. So, I did. So, probably, like... Oh, they have this priced at... I keep forgetting to say the prices. I'm sorry. They have this priced at $37. So, like... I mean, like... Probably this is at $35. So, these are, like... Probably would have passed on these out of thrift store for sure. But they're, like, this... Um... Cropped... Like, I think you fold this over. I think it's supposed to be like that. I have to look at the stock photo. I don't know. Not my, like, fave. But they are Athleta. Like, cropped, tapered capri pants. They're a size medium. They're older tag. They these priced at 17 And they're from probably, like, 2014. That's my guess. Oh. 2013. See? There's, like, a little... So probably like 20 to 25, but I was like, you know what, sure. All right, this, um, our pair of shorts. And the long Bermuda length, which is more desirable for people. And these are Lily Pulitzer, size 10. Had these been like a size like double zero, it would have probably passed. Well, maybe not actually, I don't know. But they have these priced at 21. Um, yeah, so probably like 25. And these ones, they have the same exact ones in green. Like, I almost left these because I noticed, like, a... There's, like, a mark, but I might be able to get it out somewhere over here. But I thought I could either... Somebody might bundle the two, or I could just slot them up. I'll probably list them individually and say, like, oh, there's another one listed or something. Okay, so I almost left these two, but these are just Prana. This consignment store really likes Prana. I don't know. They really, they really price Prana high, and they really like it. I see it all the time there in all their sales. Like even some of the stuff doesn't, I guess it just sells well for them. So not all pieces, obviously, if they're in the sale, but like these are size 26 and they've had them priced at $30. So I, these are like a low, like a low rise, but um, like maybe like a skinny, skinny probably. I can always just look up the style name, but these are like an ultra low rise. But like for brands like the outdoor brands, like pa Patagonia, Prana, Cool. For some reason, I noticed like the low rise doesn't necessarily do bad. So, but what sold me was the pockets on the back. I love those pockets, and the logos right there. So yeah, I had to grab those. My mom got these. I just had to pick them up. All right. Uh, I don't normally pick up this brand anymore, but I did like this style. So it is Mave by Anthropology, and it, they have this price at $46. I'll probably list it at 45 but it's like this tunic-style tie, like, dress. So I thought this was really cute. It is a size medium. All right, I don't normally pick up this brand either, but this was new with tags, and I couldn't leave it there. This, I did see another piece of dress by this brand that I left. Tommy Bahama size medium. And it's like this chambray tie waist shift dress. So yeah, so this retailed for $145 and they only priced it at $26, which I think is a really good deal. I'll probably list it at $45 to $50. Tommy Bahama does not sell well for me, so yeah. Uh, I just thought, like, if I found, this didn't take up, like, much room, and I, I thought if I found, like, a black bag, or, like, any of these color bags, and, like, I was missing the crossbody strap or something, I could just throw this in with it. 
or if I just wanted to be nice. So they had this price set, $20. $20. Um, so I was like, I'll just try it. It's not like high quality. Well, I mean, this, these aren't, it's not like a name, it's not like a brand or anything, but I just got it. This, I think my mom might keep, but it is LOL again size medium but this fabric is really really nice um it's like a like it's like very i wish you guys could feel it. it's very cooling you might be able to feel it based on the fabric content if i give you oh, it's probably up here oh they had this price at oh they call this a dress this was 25 extra small hmm. anyways i don't really can maybe it is a dress I'll look up the style number, but like if it's not, I can just. Uh, maybe that is. That'd be a short dress. I don't know. I don't know. Either way. Alright, I'll probably reconsign or buy, sell, trade this one. This is Free People. The only Free People I picked up. Oh, I'll definitely buy, sell, trade, store this one actually. But this is like a satin, like tie front. Blouse. The only problem is it does have like a run right there. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, I think I'll accept it. This was priced at twenty two, so like yeah, I would not pick that up at the thrift. I would leave that one. All right. Again, I would not pick this up at the thrift either. But I was the first one of the skirts and athletic wear. But like the athletic wear wasn't that great. I only found like a few things. This was priced at nineteen. It is made well. They're older label because that's the 1937, but this is just like a mini skirt, so I was like, sure. And I really, you have to, for this, this is a faux leather trim. If you really want to look at it and see if it's peeling, and it was not. So, I picked it up. Um, oh, huh, the trim is actually 100% leather. Like, this is actual leather. Cause I was like, dang, that actually kind of feels like nice faux leather, but it's actually actually real leather, so like okay. And then this was probably from the same person. It's this. I like this one better actually. This is a southwestern made. Oh, this is a newer one because it doesn't have the nineteen thirty seven made well size four. Maybe not the same person. Mini skirt. Um, they have this person nineteen. I can look up the see if it was from the same person based on the um count numbers okay yeah they're from the same person so person 1808 thanks all right this is um i don't know it's probably has a stain on it but i got it because it is athleta it is priced at 18 size small new label and it's this asymmetrical tank top but like tunic tank but these like do well for me I, like I don't, you know what, I'm not seeing a stain, which is actually really surprising. Um, I was fully expecting that this is really soft. This is like Modal or Blend or something. I'm trying to find like the tag. So they cut it out, that's okay. It's Modal, I know, I can just look it up by searching Athleta Asymmetrical Tank Tunic or something. Okay, this was a very, 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 the last thing I bought, and I've never picked up this brand before. I probably should have left this, but again, it was, like, basically free, because either I picked it up or picked it up or didn't. I would not have paid any, well, I paid, technically paid something for this, but, like, yeah, it's Lucy, which is, like, an athletic brand, but not my favorite, but I, it was a vest, so I, it was, like, kind of substantial, I guess, like, but, like, yeah, not my really favorite at all. This is, this is the price at 20, so I'll probably get 20 for that, but you know. So I'm not sure, I didn't look up comps on this, but I saw, so this is a collaboration. It's like a shift, gingham, you know, nautical, New England, 4th of July, like vibes. Collab with Draper, James, and Land's End. So I smaller, six to eight. So I'm just gonna list it as an eight. Because it does not look like a small. But um, I thought I'd try that. I'm not really sure what they price this at. Um, they call it Dripper James. They call it a checkered knit tank dress from Dripper James. 
Um, and this is from summer of 19. All right, then my mom might keep this. If not, I will just sell it, but I would not have picked this up at the thrift. I would have looked up at Draper James when at the thrift, but this is Athleta, and this is like a polo ruched golf shirt. She has a golf polo from Athleta that she really likes. So they have this price at like 17. Yeah. Uh, oh, I was actually surprised to see this there then, because I know some people had been through the rack and I guess nobody picked up this. It is a rails size large, which is great. Uh, like button down button yeah so this is this was priced at thirty dollars and i actually really like this for rails i don't always pick it up anymore but i would have picked this up at the thrift store so i'll probably list this one at like 38 maybe um it's like a gauzy oh wait is, are we good Oh, well, I know nobody, nobody picked it up for a reason because there's like a, a small hole. Okay, well, I was like, why did nobody pick that up? Like, wow. Okay, anyways, I'll probably just list it as is because it's linen and if you tuck that into jeans, nobody could see it. So, uh, probably like $20, 15 to 20 All right, since I was the first one to the athletic wear, I grabbed this Ocel tank top. This brand is well for me good bread and butter it's from seattle this is a size small and they have this priced at 16 i will um that probably will sell for 20 dollars in like a couple days so i will reconsign or oh oh geez or just okay well um i'll probably just buy so trade this and then if it doesn't sell i will just donate it it's size medium, made by Anthropology, like, tank top. I was on the button not to pick this up anyway, just because I, yeah, but I see, like, some, like, almost, like, discoloration. I'll try to point it out. Oh, wait, unless that's how it's supposed to be. Oh, wait, you know what, is it? Do you guys see that, like, on the back, there's, like, yeah, you guys can see that there's, like, these, like, like lines that is okay anyways this is probably like a linen blend i probably won't end up listing that no not linen okay anyways that, would, that has like nothing going for it like at all i like the color kind of but like if the buy sell trade store does not take it i will end up donating it um okay this is like the most basic item i probably would have picked this brand up at the thrift store or this in the thrift store, even though this brand does actually quite well for me. Or not quite well, just okay. It does well for me, sorry. It's Sundry Size 1, which is a small t-shirt. Um, like, I I don't know. I got, like, 15, 10 to 15 for this. So, um, like, $16 they have this person. Like, these are so, like, you can, like, roll these so tight. Like, it doesn't take up any space. So... Alright, so these are Lily Pulitzer, if you couldn't tell. Um, I didn't even have to look at the tag, because I... Well, sometimes... Now, Talbots looks like Lily Pulitzer to me. Like, there's some Talbots things that make me so mad. I'm like, oh, Lily Pulitzer. Then I go, and it's Talbots. And I'm like, really? So I double-checked these, but these are Lily Pulitzer size zero. I sold a pair of Lily Pulitzer Capri pants I got at the Close My Tour 90% off sale for... Um... $18 and they were size zero petite. So I'm like, if I could sell those, I can sell these for $18. Um, if I get an offer for 15, they can go there too. I don't know. I'm like out of inventory. So I basically was like, you know, if I can get like $20 for it, I'm happy. Like I'm happy. Um, so these were priced at 29 and they're just like this really colorful, like cropped straight leg pant. These, I don't normally pick up this brand, even though it sells really well, for, or yeah, really well for me. I've sold everything I've picked up by this brand. But I got these because they had like the all over logo and they're good size. And this color is like, the Nantucket Red's really popular. I'm gonna have to wash these because I'm not noticing like a spot, but it's the Polo Jockey, I think. So Polo Ralph Lauren, size 14. These are priced at 17. I just have to make sure because something is sold in Walmart now that's from Polo. So I have to make sure these aren't the Walmart version. 
They feel nice though, so I'm assuming they aren't. But you never know. I'll probably get like $20 for those. They're size 14, which is great. Um, and then I also managed to get this. I'm excited about this. This is Athleta, size um, 1X. And then it's priced at 19. I'm surprised nobody bought it. Maybe it's because it's a little bit short. It's like a athletic squirt in black. Yeah, easy like 30 to 35 all day long. All day. For a lot of sports, they sell so well for me. All right, this, my sister is gonna wear to church and I'll probably either buy, sell, trade it, or I don't know really consign smaller sizes because they don't sell that well for me. Um, the smaller sizes don't do that well for me, so buy, sell, trades through them. So this is having a buy, sell, trade store, but this is Banana Republic, which is not a brand I pick up, but this was $18, but I thought this skirt was so cute. Like this, I have a, a Max Mara skirt that looks exactly like this um, for sale, and I was like, that is so cute. I thought it was. So this is actually probably like my best find, and I skipped over it, and then I was like going through again, and I was like, oh, like, this was uh, ar arguably my best find. So, Heather from the Canary Closet again. And, like, a whole bunch of people are, like, pick up towel bits. So, this was priced at $30 for a new tag, size 12, Tabris Blazer, that retail for $170. Like, that is Chanel. You can't tell me that this is not Chanel because it is. So, I will list this at $65.00. Um, and I'm hoping to make at least 40 from it so I can, that will, this will pay for everything. And that's a size 12, which Heather said the big sizes do better. Had it been pre-owned, I probably wouldn't have picked it up if I'm being honest. Um, okay. So these are, like, my, what am I, eh. Okay, it really has not been, I'm like, and you need to start, I'm like gonna yell at these to sell because they need to start doing better for me because I've, they haven't been, and I'm like, no, you You've done really well, so keep it up, AG. Like, you have to sell. These are the legging, super skinny ankle. And I sold this exact pair before. They probably have a stain somewhere, but I sold mine with stains for, like, $25. So, um, I don't see, I mean, I'm not seeing any right now, but that might change um, when I get to taking photos of them, but these are size 27 and they have these priced at $40. Yeah, but I, so I just bought like a really big purchase. Like I, I spent on a piece of article of clothing for myself and I normally don't spend that much. So I'm just trying to like pay it all back, I guess. But these are American Eagle. I don't really pick up this brand either, but these are size 18 and they're new with tag, like cut off shorts. I was like, you know what, why, like why not? And they're very lightweight and like, um, really soft. You know, oh. Well, it has like this like little like, that's part of it actually. You know what that is because it's, that's consistent throughout on the jeans. Okay, never mind. we're good. We are good. All right, this is, I'm re, can re, buy, sell trading to this. I don't normally find this brand, but I'm, I wouldn't normally pick up something like this it's Everlane, size, medium, v-neck, striped, top. So basic. Six, they price this at $16, and I usually, like, pass on those basics when I find them. Um, but some people from my area, they, like, freak out when they find Everlane. Because, like, they act like Everlane is Gucci. Like, there's, like, two resellers in our area. And they like act, they like both like love Everlane and they it's almost like a battle between the two. They're always trying to like outdo each other when it comes to Everlane. So like they would have probably paid like three dollars for that or four dollars for that in the thrift store, like um to each their own. But my mom is proud of her for getting these. So these are citizens of humanity. These are the Thompson mid rise nine inch skinny or twenty nine inch, which means inseam skinny, and these are sat oh. These are size 25. These do not look like a 25 to me, to me. Who knows? Um, they're like a skinny white jean. And maybe more of a cream white. Anyways, 
I don't see anything at the moment, but that'll probably change. Uh, but they had the, they had these priced at um, yeah. See these they had them as a size eight. Yeah, like, anyways. But they had the price at twenty nine dollars, and um, yeah, this is their back pocket. Uh, Citizens of Humanity um, does better for me than brands like um, Joe's, Hudson. Yeah, those brands. So, uh, I do pick it up occasionally. Not every time, but I do. Um, I also got these. These are Spanx. Size medium petite. Light wash. Pull on skinny jeans. $35. Alright, I got three pairs of these. Judy Blue, size 3X. Cut off denim shorts. They have these paint splatters. I was the first of the shorts, so grab those. Uh, they have the price at 21. And I got these ones, which have like more bleach paint splatter. 3X, priced at 21. Yep, 25 to $30. All, oh, my tower collapsed in front of me. Okay, that's okay. I'm like really struggling because there's so much stuff. Um, but I got through it pretty quickly, I think, at least. Judy Blue, 3X. Paint splatter. So, uh, actually, I, um... Oh, I don't pick up all G Blue anymore. But, like, something like this is, like, for that cheap, like, yes. My cost of goods was, like, probably 75 cents. Um, okay. I don't always pick up this brand because Paige. Because it's usually, like, puckered right here. And there was a pair that was. And they had some, like, rub wear between, like, the thighs. And there was a pair of Adriana Goldschmidt jeans that had the puckering. And I was, the Paige jeans nobody got. But as soon as I put the Adriana Goldschmidt jeans in my, like, neighbor, like was like every like she frantically like ran after them i was like oh like okay anyways i'm not sure if she knows what it is because i didn't know what it was at first either and i picked up some pairs that had it um and i found out like what it was and now i know now i know so i always like to point that out when i if i ended up picking up a pair or if i'm doing a thrift with me and there is but basically um all right so this is a pair with puckering at the front and what it looks like is this, like that stretching, like in the front, like there you go. So that is called puckering for the use, those who don't know, but like, when like you stretch and you really can't like, so basically when these put, when you put these on, somebody like, they're gonna like, they're a stretch. So you can't really see them on well on, but it's considered a sign of wear. Um, this is by the Rain Mother, which is a bow. Um, but, yeah, so, this is about one of the only brands I pick up with that. Um, but something like Judy Blue, Adriana Goldschmidt Page, um, Citizens of Humanity, uh, Rag and Bone, I would not pick up with the puckering. That is me personally, but um, some people might, and that's okay if they want to do that too. But these are, they have like, these piping on the side, which are like, they're size 25, um, these are called, Page is really easy to list because it has the style name, the style name, and then it has the color, which is indigo cream. So these are the Page Vertigo Ankle and Vertigo, Vertigo Cream, size 25, skinny, raw hem jeans. My title right there, or something close to that. So this is that fabric I'm talking about. This was actually, this reminded me of the first thing I picked up. I know, it was a little dress. They sell a lot of this brand too. So this is, there's a lot of it there and I left a lot of it behind. This fabric is really nice. Like if my like shirts were made out of this, I'd be happy all day. Um, where's the care tag on the little items? I swear. Okay. Oh, is that it? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Polyester and Lycra. So yeah, knit tank dress and they had this priced at 29. Like yay. Okay, I don't pick up this brand, but I thought this was so cute. So it's like this cheetah with 
plants and sunglasses. So I'm gonna let you guess the brand. So there it is. It's sold at Anthropology. It's a t-shirt brand normally. TLA, size small, um, $15. I'll probably list it for 20. I picked up a TLA t-shirt last time there. Uh, I got six bags last time, but like a lot of them uh, for free because I like helped her out. So with, cause like one of the racks tipped over and stuff. So that's why I grabbed everything, but this time I had to be a little bit more selective. And there wasn't as much this time, so yeah, but this is Athleta. I couldn't, so it was on the rack like this, and I couldn't find the tag, so I just grabbed it. And when I went to sort, I realized it was Athleta, Athleta so that was exciting. It's a crochet dress, so it has like, I noticed these, but I'm just gonna wash it, and I'm, like that's just like food crust, like I picked at it, and that's just like food crust. And, like on the strap right there, like I'm positive that'll come out. And they have this priced at $36. So I will probably list it at like 40 to 45. Um, so it gives me Coastal Grandma vibes. And the person cut out the date tag, probably cause it was from like, this This is an older tag, cause probably it was from like 2013 or something. But they picked, I, I've seen like the older tag, I thought of there too, it doesn't really matter to them. And the last thing was found by my mom um, in the swimsuit section. This is a one piece ruched swimsuit new tags by j crew not bad not bad at all so this is a size four and they have this price at 25 that's probably retail for like 125 dollars it's from summer 19 so i'm gonna list this at like 50 swimsuit sell all year round for me because some people take like vacations and stuff like that so yeah so let me know your favorite thing i I don't know. I like the, um, there's really nothing that sticks out to me. Personally, there's really nothing that sticks out to me. But, um, because it's a, it's a whole lot of bread and butter. Like, last bag sale I went to, I got a pair of bed stew boots that sold for $115. So, like, something like that stuck out to me. But, like, nothing like this would stick out. I guess the Stay Crew swimsuit was pretty good. And, like... Yeah, but, like, a really... Some really good bread and butter. So, I'm really pleased. I'm expecting to make, like... $300 at least. I think I can actually make more, but um, I'm happy to have inventory to list, and now I can go watch. I've recently, I've been like putting on movies in the background while I'm listing, and it's been making the listing process a lot easier, so I've been able to get more listings up, um, and I ran out because of that, so I'm excited to have more to list, so thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Comment down your favorite thing, and I cannot wait till next, the winter clearance sale bag sale so I can show you guys what I find then. So thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys have a great week.